So EA just announced the brand new Rule Breakers promo coming to us later on tonight. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. This will drop at 6 p.m. tonight on Friday if you're watching this on Friday morning or afternoon. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. Now, they've actually give kind of a statement behind it, giving us some intuition into what we are going to get. EA said... Rule breakers leave behind their previous styles of play and transform into different kinds of stars with game changing stat updates coming 2310 or the 23rd of October. Now, that actually seems very interesting and something they've possibly done in a similar aspect before, but never really to this degree, which I'm actually really looking forward to. Now, what it alludes to is that we are getting ourselves players with different stats to what they usually have to give them a different dynamic in game. And what they've leaked at the minute is a Mertens with 88 pace, 90 shooting and 84 dribbling. That's actually a, a dribbling downgrade and a big shooting upgrade. And then we've got Harry Kane with a massive pace upgrade and a bit of a shooting downgrade. It looks to be a 23 pace upgrade and a four shooting downgrade for Harry Kane so far, which looks pretty insane. Obviously, hoping that it's not Deli Ali, but I would look at this and assume it's Harry Kane based off of the fact that Mertens is a centre forward and there's no one else that could possibly be bar Dries Mertens. Now, what you're seeing on the screen right now is a screenshot from the 433 Esports Instagram account where they talked about which player they're expecting in the Tomorrow's Rule Breaker promo. And Richarlison, he replied with a couple of eyes and the emoji. Now, that makes me believe that we could possibly see Richarlison. And that also makes me believe that the Brazilian player on this uh, loading screen right here is Richarlison. And if that is the case, that's both incredibly interesting and very exciting, in my opinion, because a pacey, great dribbling Richarlison with maybe less physical and less shooting could possibly be one of the best strikers in this game. And that is exciting to me. Now, along the Rule Breakers theme, I've been thinking about it and I've been thinking about different cards that could get really nice upgrades and stat differentiations that would make them incredibly usable and also fit EA's system here. Now, obviously, we don't have any idea of any kind of formula EA are going for and how they're upgrading players and how they're deciding which players to change the stats of. However, you can kind of just have a look at certain players that maybe aren't usable right now and turn them into usable players. Obviously, I'm not saying that Mertens is unusable. Mertens is very meta, in my opinion, every FIFA. Same with Richarlison this year. He's very meta and he's very used in the weekend league. But Harry Kane, not so much. And I think that EA might prey on a lot of players that aren't used as much to give them a more usable item. So I've gone and made some, not predictions, but possible cards we could get. Now, I just went and looked for a bunch of different gold cards in the game and looked at players that are almost usable, but maybe one or two of their stats are just too low to be technically usable in the game. And I thought, It'd be interesting to see if we can make these guys a little bit more usable in the game by changing a few stats. And I think that's what EA are going to do here, which I'm very excited for. So without further ado, let's jump into some of my uh, possible rule breakers or, or rule breakers that I'd like to see in the game. Now, this is the first, I guess, batch of, of players that I, I just threw in there. There's no real logic behind this, apart from the fact that they are, in my opinion, not necessarily unusable. Uh, a few of these cards are at the moment very usable however they could get upgraded stats to become even more usable so i think like Verratti, Busquets, Chiellini are definitely in my opinion at the moment currently pretty unusable but with the right stat boosts could become very usable so a Verratti with nice defending physical stats um, and a big pace upgrade would be a really usable midfielder i think that Busquets with a big pace upgrade would be very nice and of course a, a defending downgrade because what you you gain in one stat, you, you usually lose in the highest stat for that card, or it's, that's what it looks like at the minute. I could be completely wrong with that, but that's what it looks like. It looks like for Harry Kane, he gained a massive pace upgrade and a shooting downgrade. Uh, same with Chiellini, gone from 90 defending to 81, but a big pace upgrade. Um, Haaland, I've looked at him and thought, potentially making him into someone that is more agility, balance, and pace, as opposed to power and shooting, I think could work really, really well. Um, Douglas Costa, someone that has less pace, maybe less dribbling, but more finishing ability and passing ability with a bit more physicality might work really, really well. Um, and Iron Robin, I just put him in there, not so much because I think they'll look, like change his stats, but more so because I just think that Iron Robin will be used a little bit for promos this year. On the main basis that obviously he's back in the game and people love Iron Robin. 
even if he doesn't get special cards this year, uh, I think EA will do, uh, you know, maybe flashbacks or just any kind of special card with Iron Robin. He might become one of those players that EA just like to use for special cards just because it's Iron Robin at the end of the day. And then I made a batch two prediction. Uh, one of my, honestly, the one that I want the most out of this entire set right here is Maguire. And the Manu Matic would also be very, very nice, but Maguire would be incredible. Imagine Maguire with decent pace. I think he would actually be incredible as a CB this year. If he had decent pace, he's got a really good build for a center back um so mcguire would in my opinion be amazing with a pace upgrade ea please make it happen it'd be such a meme as well um casemiro as more of an offensive midfielder i think could work really well with a uh, defensive and physical downgrade richarlison as we mentioned with more pace and dribbling and less shooting and physical duvan uh zapata i couldn't even think i was gonna say duvan tadic then but that doesn't make any sense because that's not even his first name duvan zapata um 90 pace but less shooting less physical uh, Jao Moutinho with more pace, less dribbling, less uh, passing. Or he might have more dribbling, actually. Um, I just think that Jao Moutinho could be a card that EA look into and possibly uh, give more of a usable card. He's always been one of those guys that's, again, so close to being usable, but the pace is just not enough. And then Kolarov, I just thought... Kolarov with, with less physical, less defending and just a massive pace boost would be really fun to use as well and would fill a, a void of uh, left backs that people would like to link to certain players but obviously can't, you know. Um, there is so many different players that EA could use here. I just went with 12 of players that, you know, possibly could. I, I don't know. It, there's no real logic to the choices or anything like that. They're just random. I just thought that it'd be fun to have a look at potential cards and maybe say, hey, we could get this, we could get that. Because I like looking at potentials and hopefully this promo is going to be really good. Now, if EA bring out a bunch of SBC, some upgrade packs and things like that, I think this could be a big winner of a promo. I don't know if it's completely replacing Ultimate Scream. Um... Halloween's not for another week, so it's potential that it could just be a one-week filler promo before Ultimate Scream. However, having two weeks of ones to watch, or a week and a half of ones to watch, followed by another week of Rule Breakers, followed by another week to two weeks of Ultimate Scream, seems like a lot of promos back to back to back, and I don't know if they're going to do that or not. Who knows? This year could be the year where it's just non-stop promos constantly, and... I don't think I'm complaining about that, but it does seem like it'd be quite excessive, maybe quite tight on the bank balance as well. We'll have to see what happens, but that's that's been the, the potential rule breakers. And just talking about the promo, what we're getting really, uh, I'm actually really excited. This could be a fantastic promo, in my opinion. Usually every FIFA, EA bring out a couple of brand new promos that they absolutely smash it out of the park with. And given the fact that we've had a few decent promos last year that they did really well with, the year before that they did really well with, this could be one of those promos where it's completely brand new. It's a brand new concept and they do amazing with it. I am really excited for one for this promo. And all we have to do is wait till 6 p.m. to see what we get, really. I imagine that we'll probably probably get a team of maybe 11 cards that we have to open packs for if we want to get them and then possibly maybe a player SBC on the Friday night we might get some upgrade packs on the Monday and potentially maybe uh more daily SBCs like we were seeing during once the watch we'll have to see uh but let me know down below if you guys are excited for this promo and let me know your thoughts on the promo as well I'm excited to hear what you guys think of the promo what you think is going to come from this promo I am very excited to hear that but thank you all for the epic support on the channel recently I really do appreciate it I appreciate all the support that you guys show on the channel it's always greatly appreciated and I'll see you later